times in a week. Alberta! It has everything to do with taking away our rights to free speech. Rochelle Feniak was taking part in a rally against public health lockdown orders this weekend when police approached one protester wielding a bullhorn. Am I being arrested? I'm being detained? For what? On Feniak's recording, Cody Holler is seen interacting with sheriffs before eventually being hauled away. Edmonton police say Haller now faces two charges under the Public Health Act. Obstruction for not providing ID at police request and for participating in a gathering of more than 15 people. We were outside, all practicing social distancing. Cody was voicing his opinion, and even though it's not the opinion of everyone that was at the rally, he is entitled to that opinion. So for the police to break that up, it strikes me as an inappropriate violation of uh, freedom of expression rights. This free speech expert says the pandemic shouldn't be used to curtail civil liberties more than necessary. And in this case, given the protesters' social distancing, outdoor setting, and relatively small numbers, he believes police may have overreached. You know, they may have been offended by the protesters and the message of their protest. I don't agree with the message of the protesters either, but that's not the point. I mean, your, your freedom of expression is not tied to whether people in authority agree with what you have to say. <laughs> But there are exceptions. In the U.S., for example, Turk believes stronger controls may be needed for the substantially larger gatherings. It's appropriate for the authorities to say, no, you can't do this. It puts not only you at risk, but it puts everybody else at risk because of the spread of the, the virus. Turk says the pandemic could also put other civil liberties at risk, such as privacy concerns when it comes to tracking tools or using the criminal code to clamp down on misinformation. Who decides what's misinformation? I mean, you can define it very narrowly, in which case it misses most things, or you can define it broadly. In a statement, Alberta Premier Jason Kenney reiterated his support for peaceful protests. But Feniak says she intends to continue her public protest against the Alberta government's measures, even with a police audience. We're going to keep rallying. The, it needs to just open. People need to go back in business. In Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.